So we got a question earlier about traveling with the cello and if you put the cello on, uh, you know, in the belly of the airplane. But no, no, no. What cellists do, and this is actually quite unique to cellists, only cellists can do this, is you buy a seat next to you on the plane. So you literally have this case that you see here. That's flew and flow with me a lot. And everyone on the plane loves this. You're, everyone looks at you, everyone talks about it. It's great. And everyone appreciates the cellist on the plane. So you put your cello down next to you. And the, the, the flight attendants always love it. It's, well, they're like, ooh, they, because they, when they check to see the checklist, they can see cabbage, cabbage, uh, cabin bag uh, cello. And uh, you, <laughs> you go there and they're like, you're the cellist, right? And uh, yeah, yeah. So I always, as, as a pro, because I know how this routine goes, ask for the belt extender seat, because uh, then you put your cellist down, cellist, your cello down and uh, you take the extender that you get from them and you strap it down, go through the handle and that usually puts them at ease. And then you have your cello friend next to you. And no, the cello does not get extra food. I've had that question asked to me before, but you can lean on it and sleep very well. And no, you don't pay the full price of the ticket because this is not a human, right? And taxes, it's not taxable when it's an object. Well, it's taxable on certain things, but you can get some taxes back. So you can you usually just pay for the seat for the cello. And depending on what a flight company you go with, it's, uh, it's different how you order um, a seat. The best ones I've experienced is with SAS, Scandinavian Airlines. You actually just call them and they have a protocol how to set this up and they know it's a cello, they know you pay exactly what you need to pay. But the majority of other companies, you... Well, British Airways are pretty good as well. They have some sort of protocol when you call in. But the rest of the cheaper flights, you basically have to use book a flight. Either on, when you book the, the second ticket, you, you just tell them CBB, cabin baggage, uh, cello, or Mr. I actually call it Mr. Cello ones. And uh, when you, you know, it becomes obvious when you, you show up, obviously, for them. But then you have to contact them in uh, after the flight and claim the taxes back. So that's something, uh, by the way, a hot tip for cellists out there. You can get taxes back from the cello if you paid a full ticket for air flight. So yeah, I hope that explains it. It's a pretty fun subject. I Maybe I could throw in some random photos of me uh, with me and my cello. Younger Shrillo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't forget, by the way, subscribe, like this video. Also join the patron. Patreon.com slash Classic is thanks to the patrons. We can actually dedicate this much time, money, effort, energy to the stream and videos and all that good stuff. I can give you things in return over Patreon, buying scenes content, exclusive posts, exclusive perks. I tell all my patrons a little bit more in advance before you go live stream. You get some merch in the higher tiers, some personal videos in the higher tiers if you ask for it. And your name can be on stream, of course, in the higher tiers as well. So come join us, uh, but do uh, yeah, please consider maybe a likey, a little like, a little one, and then a sub as well, and a follow on all social medias. All social media.